Sharday here. Welcome back to the channel if this is your first time in my little bit of the internet. Welcome, my name is Sharday. I am a travel and wellness vlogger and I bring you new videos every week showing you how to travel smarter, pack lighter, and search deeper within yourself. Now, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me turn on the notification bell become part of my internet family if you are a new subscriber and my og subscribers thank you so much i appreciate your support and y'all continuing to rock with me as i grow as a channel now listen here we got another tech talk if you watched my previous video video where i talked about um my first impressions of the Canon M50 or even my video where I gave my long-term review of the 77D, you'll know I've upgraded my camera system again. I'm actually filming this on my M50 and, you know, the picture looks solid. Although I am going to raise this up a little bit because... There we go. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. There it is. There it is. Okay. You mm -hmm. couldn't see my face. Um... So I wanted to give a quick comparison of the 7070 and the M50 from a non-professional vlogger standpoint because I think a lot of times um, camera reviews, they can be super critical about the capabilities of a camera, but it's coming from the point of view of someone who, you know, is... A professional filmmaker a professional youtuber things like that so I wanted to give you my sort of perspective as someone who is a casual vlogger who's also a travel vlogger and um, someone who does not professionally do film or photo work all right so let's get into that so I want to do a little bit of side-by-side -side comparison so you can kind of see what these two as far as image quality look like image quality autofocus i'm uh working off of the kit lens for both um even though i don't usually shoot on a kit lens with the 7070 so let me go put those two things together real quick all right so here we are we have both cameras set up they are on the kit lenses for the m50 the kit lens is the 15 to 45 that goes from 3.5 to like 6 um, as you get closer the minimum aperture goes up which can be a pain in the hind parts especially in lower light it's just not gonna do much um, on the 77D we are working with the zoom 18 to 55 um, 4 to 5.6 kit lens it has an STM motor in body stabilization same thing for the m50 it has in body or uh, in lens stabilization and stm motor now the difference with these two cameras is the in body stabilization is in the 7070 and there's an electronic in body stabilization in the m50 so you can turn on the electronic stabilization and then enable the electronic stabilization to me it worked fine I didn't notice much difference um, when it comes to vlogging you know these are worlds apart they are such a smaller form factor which also means for the 7070 that there are more dials I have more dials more knobs more buttons too but I have not used those on the 77D because it has a touch screen so to me with the touch screen it kind of eliminates the need for the buttons and dials as a vlogger as a um i guess you could call me an enthusiast because i've been doing film and video for over 15 years um but i don't use that that much so the fact that the m50 lacks uh all those it only has one dial and it has a turn dial around the shutter and then it has maybe like four or five buttons doesn't bother me because it has a touch screen and that makes setting your settings far more easy you can also create a um, menu system a custom menu system on the camera which makes using that touch screen even more easy and I'm sure you can I don't think you can create a touch screen menu 
for the 77D. Also, I haven't tried. But what we want to see is like, look, the for both cameras, the quality is really good. It's really crisp. It's really sharp. I will say that the kit lens on the 77D is not as good. I don't use kit lens when I film. Um, the kit lens I will be using to film on the M50 admittedly because it's, it's actually really good if you have a nice lighting situation and you can still get it wide enough when you're doing sit down vlog. This is what I use for the Canon 77D. This is this is my filming camera. Like this is all I use and this is my favorite focal length. This is at 2.8. Now, both of the kit lenses do have stabilization. You can turn it on and off on the 77D. So hold on, let me put this on the camera so you can see the difference. Okay, here we go. So I have the 24 millimeter on my 77D. It also has an ND filter on there that's been on it since I bought the lens and it just, it makes, it makes a difference for me. So let's do a little bit of an autofocus test and I'm going to show how it follows me. This is why I ended up upgrading to the 77D because of the autofocus, because I was doing sit down vlogs where I was showing you things like this. So the autofocus does better than the T3i, which it was non-existent in. So it does really good. I will say that on the M50, when I do focus from object to face, it does that a little bit faster a lot more silent than the 24 millimeter. I'm using the microphones in body. Let me plug in my Rode mics into the camera um, so that you can, I wanted you to be able to see the sound quality and up until this point I've been doing sound just off of the body of the camera, which is gonna be hard because my apartment faces the street and it gets loud. And y'all know this by now. If I'm sitting in here, car's gonna pass me, you gonna hear it's a pain. It's a pain. Um, so let me plug this. All right, we've got road mics in, so the sound quality should be a lot better. Also, I will say that the way this is set up, it is also a pain because my wrist strap for vlogging is on the same side as the flip out screen on my. M50, which is also where the mic jack is. So that could be a pain. It has been a smidge of a pain, but you know, first world problems. On the 77D, same thing. The flip out and the mic jack are on the same side. Now, because my 77D is set up on the ring light, I have to tuck the Rode mic up under my, uh, my screen. But you know, whatever, small details. Um, so, like I said, both of these have um, phase detection, so it's my face moves. It should stay, it should stay in focus. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I will insert some footage right here. This is what the 77D looks like when I take it out and vlog because I have vlogged with it. And when I vlogged, I used the 10 to 18 millimeter camera or lens, which is an EFS lens. It's for crop sensor cameras and also has in body stabilization. I also recently did a vlog that has not come out yet um, with the Canon M50 to test it out as a vlogging setup with the kit lens. So here's some footage of that. I definitely just spent 30 minutes just walking in circles because I didn't know I could walk through the castle area. <sighs> These are the real frustrations of traveling. For both, I think they work really well for my, for my own personal use. I went with the M50 because it is smaller and more capable, it has a faster processor, and it does offer me the ability to do 4K, which for me, I'm not really gonna do 4K because I have an old laptop and it takes a lot to process it. So there's that. Um, and also, I 
if I did 4k I would do it in my seated position because the it does have a crop so the crop sensor camera is a 1.6 crop when you add the 4k to it it's another 1.7 on the crop and to alleviate that like I would only probably use 4k when I'm doing seated vlogs like I said because the 4k the crop doesn't bother me I can just push my camera back and it'll be fine and then make sure I am in focus and not trying to show you guys any products <laughs> but I will say ease of use they're both really easy to use they're both really capable cameras and they're in that $600 range with kit lenses so both of these make really stellar um, options if you're getting into vlogging if you want to try to step up your game like you've been using iPad you've been using cell phone and you want to do a camera the difference is um, the 7070 is a little bit bigger it's a DSLR it does have a mirror in it whereas the Canon EOS M50 is a mirrorless camera which allows it to also be smaller and lighter hope this helps friends this ended up longer than I wanted it to be but I'm gonna try to take care of it in post. As always, friends, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend about the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.